We're joining the swarm and trapping the queen. That's right, it's Hive by Gen42 Games. In this abstract strategy game of insect intrigue, two players take on the role of opposing swarms of bugs, each attempting to surround the queen bee of their enemy while keeping their own queen safe. The first player to completely surround an opponent's queen with pieces, owned by either player, wins the game. Setup begins with each player taking all 11 pieces of one color. They set them face up on their side of the table. While on their side, the pieces are considered in a player's hand. And that's all of setup. You did it. Good job. Gameplay occurs in alternating turns. Select a player to go first, who then opens the game by placing a piece from their hand to the center of the table. The other player then does the same, placing their piece adjacent or touching to an opponent's piece. These joined opponents are known as the hive. On subsequent turns, for the rest of the game, players will either add a new piece from their hand to the hive, or they will move one of their already placed pieces to a new spot. However, there are some limitations. With the exception of that first placement turn, all new pieces brought to the board from a player's hand must touch the hive, but cannot touch an opponent's piece. They can be moved next to an opponent on a future turn, but for placement, they must be set near a friendly piece. Once a piece is on the hive, it cannot be removed. It can still move around the hive according to its own rules, but cannot return to a player's hand. Additionally, there's a rule known as the one hive rule, one hive to rule them all, where all the pieces in play must be linked at all times. Any moves that might separate the hive into multiple pieces cannot be taken. However, this limitation is also a strategic component of the game. Placing your pieces in ways that limit your opponent's options is a key tactic to winning the game. Also, pieces cannot move until their queen is in the hive. Once she arrives, that player can use their turn to move a piece rather than place one from their hand. Piece movement is generally limited by its shape. If a piece could not physically slide out of its position, it cannot be moved. A few bugs get to break this rule, as we're about to see. Let's look at the creatures of a hive and how they each work. The queen bee, the most important creature in the hive. The queen must be placed in the game by a player's fourth turn. Once a queen has been placed, that player may then begin moving any of their pieces on their future turns. The queen can move one space adjacently per turn. The spider. This arachnid piece moves exactly three spaces on a turn. It must move in a direct path and cannot retread over the same space in a turn. It must always remain in contact with the piece while moving so as to obey the one hive rule. The grasshopper jumps an adjacent piece to a new space along a straight line. It can even jump over multiple pieces provided they are all adjacent to each other in a line. The soldier ant can slide an unlimited distance, provided they stay adjacent to at least one member of the hive while in transit, and they don't split the hive by leaving their space. One hive rule, it's serious. The beetle, like the queen, only moves one space on a turn, but has the optional ability of climbing on top of other pieces. While atop other creatures, that stack of pieces is considered the same color as the beetle, and the pieces cannot be moved. Additionally, more beetles can climb atop the stack. Beetles must still be placed normally, but can move atop other pieces after the queen has arrived. Turns continue with players maneuvering their pieces until one player can completely surround their opponent's queen with pieces of any color. Then that person wins the game! And that's the basics of Hive. I'm Becca Scott, this is Good Time Society, and you are awesome! Also, if you want to like prove you're really awesome, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great games and good times. Thanks to Alistair419 for sending us this copy of Hive, and thanks to our patrons on Patreon. I think it's about time that I list everybody in a video so they can truly feel thanked. There's a lot though, so I'm gonna do it in one breath. You ready? <sighs> Grim Lost Luminator, Derek Kinsman, Chris Vidowski, Kevin Tibbs, Kays Draven, Max Beckman, Harnd, Paul Robertson, Brady, Torvik, Rogan27, John Stickles, Aaron Thomas, Andrew Creighton, Joe Catnabox, Alexander J.N., Dominic Burkhardt, Eric Homberger, Jeff Fox, James Smith. <laughs>
Joanna Hiles, Griffin Hawk, David Devolve, Dave Gang, Penny DC, Chris Mueller, Spike, Joe Pierce, this just took Joe Connor, Matt Royal, Lancelot, Zeno's Night, Cat Brett, Dizzle, Robert Frisk, RX Cat. Thanks so much. We really, truly appreciate your patronage so much. You keep the channel going and we love you. Goodbye. Mwah.